Okay, so the entertainment business found another goose. Uh, Risa Tisa signs the CAA. Anybody who's doing entertainment for a long time hates her. I watched a couple of her videos. Um, she's definitely interesting to to uh, listen to. She she can she's a good talker. She's she's got some talent. If you've been training, you've been doing this for a while though. You're a little annoying. You're a little annoying. And you're secretly trying to think what story can I tell to to do like Risa Tisa. That's the thing about the entertainment business. Sometimes things that come together in a way that you have no control over and it blows up and and it's hard to do those things again. The only person who's done it multiple times is Larry David. Larry David, Tina Fan, Ice Cube, the only ones I've seen do it like over and over again. They just find lightning in a bottle every time. Now, if all this was a lie and she just made this up, then she's an amazing storyteller and uh, she deserves every signing penny. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, I was watching a Donald Rollins interview, Charlie Murphy and his stories about Prince. It's like the new version of that that's not funny, just sad. I'm like, when they sign her, like, what are they going to do with her? Like, what? Like, because it was just one story. So she would have, she needs another story to tell. Is she going to start acting? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you just want to throw her out there to act. I don't know what, what she's going to do. She could do voiceovers. She could definitely do voiceovers. Commercials. She could do some, some commercials. So congratulations to her. We'll we'll see we'll see